When Nine's Late News returns, Sherry Lee Briggs will have all of tomorrow's weather details. Welcome back. Well, Sydney has marked its wettest march on record today with 537 millimetres in the gauge. There were many towns in northeast New South Wales that collected three to 400 mil overnight. We've seen the vision of that devastating flood caused by the hard and fast deluge. The good news, though, is that low pressure system is tracking away from the east coast. Still some big downpours for the mid-north coast of New South Wales. But what we'll see after that is gale force winds whipping around the southern flank of that system over the next few days and large and dangerous surf to follow. But if we take a look at the forecast, finally some clear skies for Brisbane, partly cloudy and 29 degrees. Sydney still in for some wet weather and quite gusty as well, landing 20 mil in the gauge. It is staying dry in Canberra, 18 the top. Early showers for Melbourne clearing by lunchtime. Hobart showers and just 15 degrees. Adelaide, partly cloudy and 22. Perth, the chance of a sprinkling and a top of 31 Darwin, a touch of cloud and 34 degrees with a slight chance of an afternoon storm. And if we take a look to the end of the working week, a pleasant 28 degrees in Brisbane, another 35 mil of rain headed Sydney's way, a chilly morning followed by a cloudy day in Canberra, 18 the top, Melbourne partly cloudy with a top of 20 degrees, Hobart possible late shower and 17 and a beautiful sunny day in Adelaide, 24 degrees, Perth a possible shower and 26, a Darwin should stay dry and heading for a top of 34 degrees. That is all in weather this Wednesday. I'll see you soon. Indeed. Thank you, Sherry Lee. And that's Nine's Late News for this Wednesday. Our next bulletin is at 5am, followed by the Today Show with Carl and Ali. Thanks for your company. I'm Peter Hitchener. Good night.